What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another <clears throat> Vintage Cube Draft. Today we're doing another stipulation. It is from Hammerfoe. The stipulation is you have to hide your picks from yourself and the stream. You have to take every fetch and dual land. If no fetch or dual land is present, take the strongest card present. I love your analysis, so you're perceived strongest. Exceptions for power. Which should be, always be the strongest. So, But if you have a dual land or a fetch land in the pack, you take the power instead, obviously. Um, I might include shock lands as well, because those are also... They're, they, like, Hammerfoe doesn't mention shock lands, but if we're just taking the highest powered card in every pack, we want to be able to make sure we cast our spells. <clears throat> oh, you sent me a Discord pick, huh? All right, hold on one second. Okay. Old Zaichi. Oh, I actually showed this off the other day. Because <laughs> someone sent it to me and they were like, hey, look, it's you. And I was like, oh, it is me. Look at that. Mox Jet's nice. Magic the Gathering animated be 12 episodes and nobody having enough lands to do anything. It's true. It's true. How do I access the subscriber Discord? Uh, do you have a Discord account? You have to access Discord on the desktop and then connect your Twitch and Discord accounts. And then it should invite you. <clears throat> Dr. Funkburger MD, what's going on, my dude? I will take this Mox Jet because it is the most powerful card. Okay, no duels, no fetches. Most powerful card in this pack. In this cube, I would actually say Council's Judgment or Sneak Attack. I think in a vacuum, it's Council's Judgment. I think when you're building around it, I think it's Sneak Attack. Oh, I have to hide my things. Hide my picks, hide my mind. And hide and friend, uh, and everybody out there. You don't have to come and confess. Thank you, guys. I almost ruined it already. I'm so bad at these. <laughs> uh, you know, I don't think I'm that bad. But I have to be self-deprecating because that's, that's what sells. So I think I'm going to go with Sneak Attack here. I think it's the strongest pick. Also, now I have to, like... Now I have to remember my picks Pro Tour style. <clears throat> oh, that is a Flooded Strand. I'm going to take this Flooded Strand. Because I have to. <laughs> right, Green Bay, the guy who sniff is you didn't stick to the stiff. Hey, I noticed you uh you could see the first card after you picked it. Can you uh look I'm just gonna need a refund here. I'm trying to support the channel, but you're making it real hard for me. <clears throat> uh I think the best card in this pack is probably recurring nightmare. Seems good. And, I mean, I don't think I have to forget the cards I've picked. I think I just have to remember them. I think that's the uh, the challenge here. So, we're going to take this guy. What's going on? Ah, schmutz. I don't know. Anyway. You don't have to come and confess. <clears throat> Uh, Temple Garden and Overgrown Tomb. Like I said, I would probably consider these dual lands for the sake of, um, for the sake of our cards. You can't use your memory. Forget the cards you pick right away. Oh my god. You must forget everything you know about the game of Magic the Gathering. Oh dear. Oh dear. Um, I guess we're going to take Overgrown Tomb. Honestly, the irony is I think the strongest cards in this pack are the lands, so. I'll take Overgrown Tomb. I think this goes well with... Uh, you guys know I am a big Woodfall Primus fan, though. Survival of the Fittest is also very strong, but I think by itself, Woodfall Primus is an enabler. Alright, we're going to take the Scrub Land. That is a dual land. With all Primus is an enabler. I think if I had to take the strongest card in this pack, it would be Elspeth. <clears throat> Can't stay to watch you live because of work. Just stopping by to show some love. Keep it the Apollo, thank you so much for the for the donation. Really appreciate it, buddy. Enjoy work. 
Okay, if I had to pick the strongest card in this pack, which I... Actually, I think it's Jitte. I was going to say Nicol Bolas Dragon God, but that is actually... Um, he's not the strongest card in the pack. I just really... It's the card I like the most in this pack because I'm a big fan of this card. But Jitte is 1,000% the strongest card in this pack. Uh, I would say Aleshnorn is the strongest card in this pack. Yeah, I don't think it's really close. Maybe Huntmaster, but I think it's got to be Leshnorn. Um, <clears throat> Collective Brutality is probably the strongest card in this pack. I like these two better, I think. Um, but I think it's I think this is the strongest card. <clears throat> oh, look, we got Council's Judgment. Like if I was gonna if I was gonna pick this uh, pack one thinking it was the strongest card in the pack, um, it is no longer. Uh, it, it is definitely the second strongest card in the pack in my opinion. Oh, and a Goblin Shrine comes back, so we got both the, we've got, Overgrown Tomb and Goblin Shrine now, which is nice. Strongest card in this pack, I would say, I think it's Armageddon. But, I'm probably not gonna play Armageddon. And I really, one hope, one hope that I have is Hammerfoe did not think duels as all dual lands, because that would be a lot of picks. Alright, we'll take Temple Garden now. Elspeth is definitely the strongest card in this pack, and I was actually going to make an argument for Elspeth in the previous pack. I wish I knew what the last card was. Um, in the previous pack, when we took a dual land. So, <clears throat> probably taking Underground Sea here. I mean, definitely taking Underground Sea, but... Oh, it's Heroes Downfall. Thank you, guys. Really appreciate it. We could do a, we should do a step where Frank takes the card I'm thinking of from each pack. <laughs> I'm going to take Underground C. Mm hmm. C is gas. I agree. Uh, oh, Mox Pearl? Oh, that's a good one because we have several white cards in the sideboard. I would like this Marsh Flats, but there's no way I'm looking to gift Mox Pearl in the in the face. This is two Moxes? This is a perfect way to go with one of our last uh, Vintage Cube drafts. Break out the hurdy gurdy, boys. We're back. <laughs> Don't nobody nobody should break out the hurdy gurdy here. I <clears throat> I advise against it. The strongest card in this pack, it's probably Maelstrom Pulse. It could be Avenger of Zendikar, but I don't think Avenger is that strong in a vacuum. I think Maelstrom Pulse is just really good. It could be Bloodbraid Elf, but I think Bloodbraid Elf loses some value because it really restricts the cards you play in the Vintage Cube, like Mind Twist, Counter Spells. Um, any sort of X spell, really. Um, it makes it so you can't really play those as easily. <clears throat> Whereas Maelstrom Pulse is just a solid card. It deals with all the Planeswalkers, all the artifacts. Misty Rainforest. Easy peasy. Easy game, easy life. This is nice because I know we do a Temple Garden, an Overgrown Tomb, and an Underground Sea. So we have several things to get with this Misty Rainforest. And we're not even... Not even... Uh, able to see our cards. So, that's good. That's nice. <laughs> Ironically, I think Ravenous Chupacabra is the strongest card in this pack. I think Splinter Twin is one of the strongest combos in the cube. But I think Ravenous Chupacabra, and you guys have heard me say this before, that having a Ravenous Chupacabra to just kill anything in the cube from uh, not the non-indestructible Eldrazi to, you know... Demon Lord Bells and Lock to Mirror Battle Sphere is just fantastic. A lot of the creatures in the queue have the uh, can't hit artifacts. We can see I have two creatures, which I covered. I can't actually go lower than that. I think that's fine. Um, <clears throat> I think Ravenous Chupacabra is one of the is the strongest creature that kills things uh, spell. So, I mean, you have other things like, you know the the idiots the sh the shriek maws and the the bone shredders but they can't hit artifact creatures they can't hit black creatures and it's 
very narrow. Like it's it's usually frustrating because they're always going to be like, "Well, I'm going to play my, my I'm going to play my Scarab God," and you're going to be like, "I guess I'll just sit here with my Necrotal." I think Shambling Vent is good. I think the best card in this pack is probably Beast Within for the same reason like Maelstrom Pulse is. I'm not a huge Beast Within fan, but I I appreciate it as a very very good card. Uh, Trinket Mage is very good because we have two Moxes, but I don't think that makes it even close to the best card in the pack. So I'm going to take the Beast Within. I think Ashiok is pretty close to the strongest card in this pack. <clears throat> I think an argu argument can be made for Toxic Deluge. I think in the Storm Archetype, Yawgmoth's Bargain is the exact card you want. But we're going to take the Ashiok. I think Ashiok is extremely strong. Um, no, 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 no. I don't think there's any strongest card in this pack. I think it's pretty mediocre. I, I think Gruul Signet is probably the strongest card in this pack. I think Signets are top tier in the queue in general, and it outclasses all all seven of these other cards. I don't think that's even close. I'll take the Hollow Fountain because it's very much like a dual land. <clears throat> Plus, we can get it with our Misty Rainforest and our Flooded Strand, so... Welder is stronger than Signet. No, I think Welder has better synergies than Signet, but I think on I'm looking at cards in a vacuum. I can't look at a deck I've built and be like, this is a this is the strongest card in this pack, because I think that's one of the points of hiding this the the cards, right? Because otherwise I would be taking the strongest card for our deck and not necessarily the strongest card in the pack. Marsh Flats? Okay. Okay. <clears throat> um I made an argument for Bloodbraid Elf. I think it's I think it's still true, but I still think it's stronger than Gideon, Corpse Dance, Kitchen Finks, and Mother of Runes here, so. Uh, all of these are pretty mediocre, but I will take the Vraska because I think it's probably the... It has a Maelstrom, uh, an Abrupt Decay attached to it, which I think is very strong. And these other cards are pretty niche. I don't think they're actually that that decent. Anguish Stun Making is very good. I mean, if you like Maelstrom Pulse or, uh, you know, like Vindicate, I think Anguish Stun Making is just fine. It also deals with like Ulamog and stuff. Um, as Mirak Fiend, 100%. <clears throat> and the last card, again, I did not see. So if you guys managed to see that last card, feel free to let me know. We have a Taiga, a Bayou, and an Ancient Tomb here. Um, we have to take duels, but this is power, essentially. A Tonto Vanguard, man. You guys are, you guys are quick, man. How are you seeing these? Um, so I think it's either Bio, Ancient Tomb, or Taiga. Is Ancient Tomb stronger than the duels, even in our deck? Probably. <clears throat> See, the problem with not being able to look at your deck is I'm trying to think of how many spells have at least two colorless in their cost, right? Um, because if you have a bunch of spells like Maelstrom Pulse, where they only have one colorless in their cost, and Anguish Done Making, which I know we have, then, and, you know, like, then, then having access to two colorless off of one land doesn't do more than having one colorless sometimes, so. Um, I'll take the Ancient Tomb, and I'll hope that one of these comes back. If I had to take the strongest card in this pack, I'd probably take Bitter Blossom. Maybe Oracle of Moldaya. <clears throat> oh, Windswept Heath. Gotta take that. Strongest card in this pack is probably Vindicate or one of the Signets, I think. Watery Grave I like a lot. We do have an Underground Sea. Demonic Tutor is... I think this is the... This is the... Uh, this is far and away the, the strongest card in this pack, whereas Rafelos is the strongest card if you have a green deck, I think. I think these are not not super close. But I'm going to take the Demonic Tutor. What up, Kretsch Jr.? My man. Sword of Body and Mind. Sword of Body and Mind is a card that I think is one of the stronger cards. But I, I acknowledge that swords are not the strongest cards in the queue. Wooded Foothills. Yawgmoth's Will is, is strong, but eh, it's not great. I would probably take Control Magic here if we weren't taking Wooded Foothills. Maybe Oblivion Ring. Uh, we don't have to take the Grave. Grave is not a dual land. It's a shock land. I made a stip I made an addendum to that, saying that uh, I might take shock lands as well, because they have a they, they can be searched with all the fetch lands that we're being forced to take. Crutch Jr., you just did a stream for the first time? Crutch Jr., are you on the Discord channel? <clears throat> Because if you're in Discord, if you guys are in the Discord channel, if you guys are subscribed in the Discord channel, I think uh, Thran Dynamo is the strongest card in this pack. I don't think it's even that close. I think maybe an argument for Marari's Wake can be made. 
Um, if you guys are in the Discord channel and you guys ever do your own streaming, like definitely feel free to post it in like the general the general channel and be like, hey, I'm gonna stream now. If you guys want to come hang out, um, because I know a lot of people will definitely come hang out. All right, so eh, terminate's good. Strongest card in a vacuum in this pack. This pack is pretty meh. It's probably just terminate for its efficiency. Dark confidant's good, but I would never just take it because I don't think. The nature of cube doesn't allow you to really take advantage of, of Dark Confidant. Yeah, dark, Third Tail. Feel free to just announce it in the... if I mean, like, I'd appreciate if I wasn't also streaming at the same time. But, I mean, if I'm not, definitely just knock yourself out and be like, Hey, guys, just want to... No, definitely. I give you guys total permission if you guys are in my Discord channel to, to announce your streams. It's probably Lyra. Lyra's probably the strongest card in this pack. Swords to Plowshares. Probably the strongest card in this pack. I would say Rakdos' return, but it's not Mind Twist by any stretch of the imagination. So I think it's just Swords here. Swords is really efficient. Lingering Soul is also very, very strong. So Teferi, strongest card in this pack. Not not really remotely close here. Can I stream myself st stroking my beard? If it's Yeah, as long as it's Twitch applicable, sure. Taiga and Bayou... We already do have an Overgrown Tomb. We might just want the Taiga because we do have a Bloodbraid Elf. Bitter Blossom's still here, surprisingly. One of, the, one of the cards I think is very, very strong in the cube. Two dual lands, though, is pretty shocking. I'm going to probably take Taiga. Vindicate. Uh, if I took Maelstrom Pulse and Anguish I'm making, I think Vindicate is just... Hero of Bladehold, also very, very strong. We have seven creatures. I might just take Hero of Bladehold, actually, because we do have Maelstrom Pulse and Anguish I'm making, so... I think Mode is strong. I don't think it's the strongest because it is dependent on your own deck. Like, if you have a deck full of creatures that can't attack, it's kind of rough. Lava Claw Reaches is probably the best card here. It's a, just a dual land that can attack. I don't think I don't think any of these are really in contention for, for strongest card. We wanted Oblivion Ring. We got an Oblivion Ring. Still stronger than Night's Whisper and Selfless Spirit, I think. I don't think Seacrow... <clears throat> not a big fan of the lands that come into play tapped after turn three. Yeah, I made an argument for Marari's Wake, so we'll just take that. Hero of Bladehold is a card where you just lose you lose to it a lot in Vintage Cube, and you're like, this card is really strong. If you don't have an answer for it, you just kind of lose. Yeah, Parallax Wave is fine. And last pick. Mass makeshift Mannequin, it looked like. There should be a game where they flash a card. Wow, how did this one mox... We put the one mox jet in the sideboard, and then we forgot to, uh, forgot to put it back. Okay, well, our lands look good, at least. This is 30 cards, though. We gotta make some cuts. <clears throat> I guess we can probably cut the sneak attack. I wish I knew we didn't have as much red because I would have actually cut. Uh, I would have I would have taken the Bayou and then we would have just not been red because we're very very heavy black white. We're we're very Abzan, splashing like a Teferi here. <clears throat> but we might be able to just splash Bloodbraid Elf. Uh, I don't think there's anything it actually conflicts with in our deck like it doesn't allow us to cast. And we also have a Gruul Signet too. Yeah, there's really no cost to playing a Taiga. It's better just better than a Forest. We could sneak attack Woodfall Primus, but I don't think that's great. Do you not have a single blue card? We have a Tefri. And we have an Ashiok. And we have Misty, Hollowed Fountain, Flooded Strand, Underground Sea. So we have really no incentive not to... Not to play those. Uh, to get the sneak attack. To get the makeshift mannequin, I guess. Actually, I don't hate makeshift mannequin because you can get either one of these back if we discard them to Collective Brutality. Half of yours do... I feel like all of yours take prep, but they're all very good. They all end up doing very well. Like, I don't know if you saw that. We did yours last night. I don't... You, I don't think... You, were you here? It went well. I think we 3 0 with it, actually. <laughs> I don't know if we're a recurring Nightmare deck. We, if, we, if we didn't have dual lands in the pack, we could have taken the Bitter Blossom, which is actually fantastic with recurring Nightmare. <clears throat> two one two one and three zero in your steps. That seems pretty good, actually. I don't hate a Marari's Wake here. We do have to make two cuts. I don't think Hero's Downfall is going to be how much? How many? How many fetches do we have compared to actual lands? 
five fetches, five lands, an ancient tomb, two moxes. Huh, all right. Well, <clears throat> thankfully we have Godless Shrine, Hollow Fountain, Scrubland, Temple Garden. We have a lot of white, which is nice. We also have Lava Claw Reaches, Underground Sea, Scrubland, Godless Shrine. So we have a lot of black, which is nice. That's The lands actually worked out pretty well. Bloodbraid Elf can hit everything, right? I don't care about Recurring Nightmare in the deck just because we don't have a real recurring... We have seven creatures, so we're not really going to be sacrificing things. Throwing Dynamo is nice because it lets us cast these guys. Even though last night you kind of went 3-0, Coalition Relic pick 2. Oh my god, I totally... Dude, I felt so bad when I did that. I was like, oh, I can take fixing or land. I, I always, sometimes like I, I confuse lands with just fixing. So if someone says, you know, you can take lands whenever, I'm like, oh, I can take fixing whenever. So I'll take this coalition relic. And then I'm like, oh my god, there's so much going on that I just forgot. And it felt so bad. I swear, like, the YouTube comments have given me PTSD about, like, whenever I messed up in a stipulation. Can't wait to hook up Elish Norn with a Jitte. Hey, hey, Norn. Actually, Aless Aless was pretty good with the Jitte and with a Recurring Nightmare, but we don't have that many efficient ways to get these guys in the graveyard or to search them out of our deck for that matter. I think it might just be the Beast Within. It could be Woodfall Primus, but I really don't like that when we have Mirari's Wake and Gruul Signet. We have one, two... How, do, how many sources of, of, of green do we even have? It regrettably might be Woodfall Primus. Also, Elspeth making tokens and sacking them to, to, to Vraska seems pretty good here. Same thing with Hero Blade Hold tokens. Ah, does it Woodfall Primus? Ah, I don't love that. We have a lot of solid removal at three. We have Maelstrom Pulse, Beast Within, Hero's Downfall, Council's Judgment, Oblivion Ring, and Anguish Done Making. That is a lot of, like, really, really versatile three mana removal. I feel like... I feel like with Mirari's Wake, you really want to have Woodfall Primus, but... It's actually harder to build. We have Recurring Nightmare and Sneak Attack in the sideboard, which feels weird. But, like, we have seven creatures, so the only creatures we're going to Sneak Attack are literally Woodfall Primus. We're not going to sneak in a Lyra or an Lush Norn. Probably not a Hero of Bladehold, and, like, anything anything less like this guy is just not going to happen. I guess we can actually cut Mesmeric Fiend. I'm not a huge Mesmeric Fiend fan. I think that's probably it, right? Oh, God, still, this is giving me pause. Temple Garden Tiger. We have two lands, so we'd have to have a third for a third green source, and we'd have to have all three of them. It just seems bad. The only way to get into the graveyard is Collective Brutality, right? We don't have any other ways to discard things, right? I don't I don't know, man. You can do whatever you want. Um Okay. This is really this is really where I feel like we're this is our choke point, I feel like. Gracious Kitty, have a good afternoon, buddy. Maybe we just play him as Mirror Fiend? I think this just makes our mana a lot better. Oh, man. I am worried about not having a bunch of... What would I play over the... Yeah, that's the question, isn't it? That is the question. If I had more ways to get it into the graveyard, I'd be totally fine with it. But it's literally just collective brutality. I uploaded the Mike B story to the book club section of the Discord. That's hilarious. That is hilarious. Uh, I will likely draft. I actually have to go drop something off after this draft. Um, but I will likely be back. I'll be back and we'll do like Modern Horizons and probably one more Vintage Cube, so... I'm going to just play it like this and just add, like, good lord. Yeah, it's more mic stands. <laughs> wow. That's an old meme. Oh, man. It could be like a Danto Vanguard. It's just a, 
It seems bad. I really like this, though. Like, we could add one forest. What if our lands are just two forests? That's it. We're doing it. So, look. Let's look at this. Okay. Okay. So, as far as a green... Let's look at white sources. We have the most white cards, right? One, two, three... Uh... Four, because it gets Hollow Fountain. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. We have nine white sources. Perfect. Don't need any planes. How about black sources? One, two, three. Uh, do we have an overgrown tomb? Oh, we took the Temple Garden because we have Flood Trance. Sure, 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 sure. Black sources. One, one. Oh, Flood Trance. Two. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, eight, nine. Again, nine. Perfect. Don't need any black sources. Blue sources for two blue cards. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, six. Seems great. Fantastic. Red sources for one red card, more than enough. So now we can literally just add two forests and call it a day. Perfect. Woodfall Primus, justified. I am going to uh, clip this deck so I know exactly what lands we have when we search. Okay. All right, I'm okay with this. Looking all right. I think GTA would be uh, controversial here, but Elspeth really, really pushes it over the top for me. Also, if you attack with any creature and you have GTA counters, like, there's so many times where one GTA activation just wins you the game. Yeah, our mana's nuts. We have nine of each source here. We have more than enough blue and red for the one, one red card and two blue cards. So now green sources, we have one, two... Marshlats is three. Rain, Rainforest is four. Five, six, seven, eight. And Gruel Signet. We have nine. We have no, So the problem is we have nine. They're not necessarily nine green sources. They're nine ways to get a green source. In total, we have about five green sources. But, like I said, we could actually, you know, just discard it with Collective Brutality, whatever. I will play first. And there he is. There's your boy. I'm actually still going to keep this, though. We have a turn 3 Bloodbraid Elf. Or a turn 3 Thran Dynamo. Yeah, this seems fine. This has all the colors of the wind. Can you paint with all the colors of the wind? Alright, so... We do want to get a Taiga. And we can only get that with Misty Rainforest. Do we have any other red lands that we can get? No, we can get Taiga and, like... If we get Taiga and, and like, Temple Garden, we actually... We're, we're almost there. We can get Underground Sea with this. Taiga... Oh, this is a Hollow Fountain, so I guess we don't, have, we don't get Underground Sea. Do we have any green-black? No. Whatever. We're still getting Taiga, because we have to. We need the black and the red. It's going to be Taiga, Temple, Hollow Fountain. Those are going to be our, our lands. And then we just have to hit either one green or one black source <laughs> oh excuse me hammerfo what's going on buddy welcome welcome it worked out pretty well i think the only cheating we did was that i was able to look at our first pick for a split second before chat was like hey you gotta hide these and i was like oh no dang it uh let's get to taiga Oh, see, that works out quite well, because now we can save this for Underground. We can get Temple Garden with this one, and then we can just go turn three Bloodbraid Elf. Or, or Thran Dynamo. So we're getting Temple Garden with this, right? Tem this is Temple Garden, this is Underground, see? 
and then that fulfills our our blue black quotient let's get a temple garden forest you guys ready for the forest are you guys ready for the forest what are you hoping to hit with blood braid my dad Actually, that's a good point. What are we hoping to hit with Bloodbraid? We have a ton of removal for Bloodbraid. I think we're just actually going to play Thran Dynamo here. Unfortunately, I don't think we have another green source left for Marsh Flats. Uh, we only have two searchable green sources, which are Temple Garden and Taiga. I mean, we have two forests. And we could have used this, this to get... Temple Garden and this to get Forest, but then we don't have a black source. And I'd rather have a black source here. If they play anything, it's it's Bloodbraid Elf Season. That's good enough, I think. I mean, unless they play... Oh, Jesus. Are we dead? Oh, fantastic. Unless you're going to win right now. Okay. Okay. Welp. You still have no mana, so I guess that's fine. Now our Blood Bread Elf hits a lot of things. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 8 mana. We can get a black, we can actually play Collective and Blood Bread Elf, which is nice. Did they play land this turn? Yikes. They played an island, so I don't feel too bad about this. Now they just have two lands and they have to discard a bunch of cards. That's fine. I feel like this is quite good for us, actually. One, two, three, four, five, six. If we hit a green source, we just get to play Woodfall Primus. That is not a green source, but I, I accept it anyway. Let's play this. Get an Underground Sea. All right. So, one, two, green, red. Ugh. Well, it's a green source, I guess. I guess one, two, three, four, five. Not there yet anymore. Or here. Or anywhere, really. Collective Brutality with Escalade. We want the second white for this. I think it's actually not. None of the other two modes are relevant, so we'll just choose you. Time Spark, Repeal, Coligon's Command, Brain Freeze. Let's get rid of... What can you play next turn? You can play Coligon's Command, but that's not exciting. That's the only thing you can cast next turn. And you can't even get... You can only do, like, one mode anyway. Yeah, I don't care about... Actually, Repeal might be... Eh, Coligon's Command is probably just the best card in this hand right now. So what do we have? These are your six cards. One, two, three, four, five. Yep, that's fine. Because you can only cast Repeal here. You can bounce this if you want. But like, if you're going to bounce it, you can Coligon's Command it, actually, and that's just worse. So We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten mana. So we can use two of it to go to play this. We'd still have nine. And then we can just Woodfall Primus this. And I feel like that actually puts us in really good shape. Is that an island? Island down. Repeal for zero. Targeting your own Mox Diamond. Sure. Lotus Bloom Suspend. Mox Diamond. Discarding. Mount. Wandering Funeral. Okay, so you have Time Spiral, Mountain, Brain Freeze, one other card. You can brain freeze us for... Eh, that's fine. I don't think that's lethal by any means. Oh, actually, this might be lethal. I actually have no idea. This... These copies don't storm, right? Yeah, that was fine. <laughs> okay, that was not... That was not exciting.
Does that do anything? What can we get with this? I think we're actually fine right now. One, two, three, four, five. Nope, don't want to use the green. We can use that. There we go. One, two, one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, seven, eight. So brain freeze is gone. Nope. So you know they have Time Spiral Mountain in one other card? I mean, we can Demonic Tutor for anything here. Like a Council's Judgment to kill their mocks. Oh, we can, yeah, getting a Leshnorn and killing them seems pretty gas, right? 6, 79, 10, 11, 12, 13. Search for Ezkanta. Okay. You played Mountain. Now you're going to have Time Spiral and one other card. Firebolt. Sure. Well, now it is off the table. But they have one card and it's Time Spiral, and they can't actually cast it next turn. Yeah, Mirari's Wake seems all right. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and then we have Elspeth Mana, I think. We'll save this for the double white. We can go... Green, white, this, Mirari's Wake, one, two, three, four, five. Hmm. Is this better than Demonic Tutoring for something? Let's find out. I mean, they can't Time Spiral next turn. Unless they draw, like, something good. We can also just get a Teferi and tuck the Mox Diamond, which seems real good. Or we can get a Vraska. We only have one. Oh, actually, we have two black sources. Never mind. So we can go black, black, green, green. Pay two. Get a Vraska. Sack this. Yeah, let's do that. Black, black. Uh, green, green. Let's get... B -b -b Vraska, where are you? Oh, they exiled it. Oh, that's sad. Well, that changes things, doesn't it? <sighs> Boy. I guess we can just Maelstrom Pulse. Biscuits. I got real excited. I didn't even look at what was exiled. Are you going to do Modern Horizons? Yeah. I mean, I'll wait for the cube to end, but I will be doing Modern Horizons. So, Nails from Pulse is fine. Just kill their stupid Mox Diamond. Whatever. They have to be to Woodfall Primus next turn. They have This guy's not coming off Suspend, so. They have Time Spiral and a card from Time Spiral. Ha ha ha. <laughs> Good times. D. Lee Coker, thank you so much for the reset, buddy. Really appreciate it. I noticed it when it happened, but I was kind of in the middle of the, the analysis thing. Thank you so much for the reset, buddy. Really appreciate it. All right, we just win. Seems good. Mesmeric Fiend seems good here. Let's bring in the Mesmeric Fiend. I kind of like Armageddon against them. Take out the Chupacabra. We have a lot of removal. Maybe we just play Armageddon. And take out like one of the removal spells. Probably Beast Within. Oh, probably Swords to Plowshares, I guess. That's a card I'd much, much rather not hit. Our board and Armageddon here, guys. Actually, Adanto Vanguard's probably better than something, right? Yeah, cut downfall for Adanto Vanguard, but it's too late now. 
Dang it. Biscuits. Wow, two green again, huh? This hand's pretty bad. We don't have any kind of explosiveness in this hand. I worked all night and haven't slept yet. Well, that's a thing. I will keep this hand. I'm going to bottom this because we have four, four mana sources already. Hmm. What can we demo for? I think we demonic tutor for an Ashiok here. Oh, we don't have a second black, though. That's really obnoxious. Ugh. We could just demo for a hero of Bladehold, to be quite honest. Said my name and thought I was watching on YouTube. Um... Yeah, let's just demonic tutor for like a hero of blade hold. And then next turn we can collect a brutality, see what they have, and then throw that throw that bad boy out there. Play this tapped. Maybe discard council. No, we we don't have to use a second mode on this. I don't know why I keep thinking a second mode. We're literally just making the discard. Do we think they have days? Maybe. We'll just play Wooded Foothills. Gush and Faithless Looting. This is pretty bad. We're going to take the... So next thing at Faithless Looting, discard two lands. I don't think we care about that. I think we just rather take the Gush. Like, if we discard the Faithless Looting, we can still play it. Uh, are you drunk? Yep, there you go. So that's gone. They played an island, so we know they have Thousand Year Storm Swamp Island. Discarded Swamp Island. Seems good. Had I known we were going to draw Wooded Foothills, well, I'll just get pretty easy tie. Got three green sources again, guys, just so you know. Still no reason not to play around days Thank here. You. So one, two, three, four. All right, well, here we go. Can this kill them before this unsuspends? That's the question. Buckeye, thank you so much for the reset, buddy. Welcome back. This is the hero of the blade hold. Oh, oh. Always put battle cry first. Click on the battle cry first. All right, so they might be dead next turn. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Yeah, they're just dead next turn if they don't have an answer to Hero Blade Hold. So, I also skip ahead dead time when opponents are thinking on YouTube. It messes me up on Twitch. Yeah, I get that a lot. People are like, "Man, I was on YouTube and I wanted to, I wanted to chat, but I couldn't do it." This is a situation where I think Hero Blade Holds could just win this game. Uh, I stand corrected. <sighs> That's unfortunate. No, it would have been three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eight, nine, ten. It would have been eleven. You're right. I'm not smart. You are the smart one. One, two, three, one, two. Yep, this is perfect. One, two. Who was GT? doesn't really matter well they got the mana and the thousand year storm next turn so they got seven eight mana with the thousand year storm we'll see if that's good enough 
We also gain two life. Equip the Jitsa. Thank you so much. Really appreciate it. Spaghetti Toucher. You're, you're killing it. You're killing it, my man. Somebody touch my spaghetti! Top level, bro. Top level. You know what you should do? You got that equipment, I noticed. You know what you should do with that thing? You should equip it. And I was like... God damn, that was a good... That was solid. Solid. Alright, here we go. We're either dead or we're not dead, I think. Yep, there it is. One down. Oh. Well then. Huh. One, two, three. So we've got rid of a Lotus Bloom and a Thousand Year Storm with a Maelstrom Pulse. Now it is your turn, good sir. I mean, they could go Mox, discard land, land, time spiral. If their hand is land, land, time spiral, Mox. Now they cannot. One more step for you if you hear me out. I, I don't know if I'll have time to do it this time. But I, I'm definitely willing to listen. Hey, listen. Actually, that could be the last one I do. Because I'm have i going to do one more tonight. One more uh, cube draft, anyway. Abrade the GTA. Gain two. A bold strategy. Bloodbraid Elf. Bloodbraid Elf. Blood Braid Elf into Ashiok. Uh, it stops. The entry closes around 7 p.m., I think. So the, the league ends in... Well, that's the league end. It's not really the same, per se. But we still have time. Coin Flip Draft. For the first 10 picks in each pack, immediately pick the card you want most and least. At any point, you may take any other card in that pack freely. If you want the card you want most... You must flip a coin. Heads, you get it. Tails, you get the card you want least. Wow. You must play every card chosen by coin flip in your 40. This is... Okay, that's insane. You are actually a maniac. Me and Rob did a blind alternating step. Lands... Uh. Okay, sure. Oh, what? Did they... Wait, what just happened? What's happening right now? Oh, now I wish I kept the Maelstrom Pulse. Now I feel sad. Well, sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do. <laughs> kill, kill, kill. We can kill three tokens. <laughs> oh, man. Wow, can you imagine if we just use the Maelstrom Pulse instead of the Council of Judgment? Or vice versa, rather? Wow. Five coming through, huh? I'll take five. Make sure we're hitting the right dude. One, this guy. One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five. We have seven mana. We can almost cast this friggin' Woodfall Primus. Still got the three green sources. Thirst for knowledge. Sure. Side. In response to combat, I'll thirst for knowledge. Goalie, I will actually keep it in mind. Definitely. My only issue is that it's a lot of... It's a, there's a lot going on. <laughs> Hold on one second. Let me save this bad boy. Unbolden it. 
Well, they discard Goblin Electromancer and Explosion Expansion. Man, I'm really I'm really discouraged about this Maelstrom Pulse. This is a pretty bonehead bonehead decision. Ooh, that's fascinating. Not sure if you can do it with the timer. Yeah, that's the only problem. Like flipping a coin for every card, also deciding what the most the most wanted card and the least wanted card are. Do I want to kill one of my own lands? I think I want to kill one of my own tokens. Actually, we just win here, right? Like we'll take four. We beast within. We anguish, anguished on making their token beast within one of our lands, and then they can only stop two of the dudes. I mean, if they don't have anything in their three cards. Why don't I kill their land and give them a 3-3? Three, three? Now they have a clock. Yeah, they have Maze Vith. We'll have beast within token and three guys. Right? Like, I don't... I don't know what you guys are talking about. We're going to kill one of our guys. One of our lands. We have three creatures. They have one maze of it, so two creatures get through. Right? Like, what problem is? All right. Well, let's see what happens. Okay, that's good for us. Cancel, one, two, three. Anguish to making this guy. Uh, one, two, three. Beast within our Mox Pearl. That's also pretty good. Wow. That's pretty nuts. I mean, this isn't great, but it, like, if we don't draw another land for a Leshnorn, it's a it's three it's a three turn clock. So I'd rather a three-turn clock than a two-turn clock. I don't love just wasting all this one-for-one -one removal on the stupid goblins, but... Well, they're at one. Here comes Time Spiral. Are you ready? They're going to be like, Time Spiral. Blah, 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 blah. Nothing, huh? No attacks and no defense. And if we draw, like, Ancient Tomb, we can still cast Woodfall Primus, which is nice. Not in the street, there is violence. Huh. Well, let's see if that does the job. So now any land lets us cast Woodfall Primus. Any spell is also good against... Okay, Leshnorn does the job. That'll do, pig. That'll do. 2-0 with our real crazy uh, stipulation draft deck. And then we take it higher. Out in the street that is violence. You guys know we have to rock down to Electric Avenue, right? And then we take it higher, so it's fine. This sounds actually not terrible. We have two lands, essentially. A Bloodbraid Elf, a Hero of Bladehold, and a Thorn. I think this hand's actually keepable.
Yeah, considering we weren't allowed to look at our cards, I, I, I assumed that we were just picking the best card in a vacuum and not necessarily being like, well, this card is great with all the cards we have in our deck. So it was definitely a situation where, like, you look at the cards that are available to you, and you're like, this is the strongest card among these cards. Oh, come on. Don't be like this. Oh, wow. Look at you. Look at you. Look at you, you little rascal. I would like to draw a Gruul Signet here, followed by a land. I don't think that's an unreasonable request. Hammerfoe, glad to hear, man. Thank you so much. That's the best part. If you guys think that I nailed the stipulation, that's that's all I could ask for. Oh, that's also not bad. We could just play both of these and then beast within one of their lands. I don't hate that. He looked at his first card for like 30 seconds. I'm going to hit the red. Do you float one for no reason? Wow. What's the... Come on. <laughs> like, what are you doing, man? Get your life together. Oh, we messed up. We hit this because there's a lot of things we can hit off Bloodbraid Elf that will kill this. And now we want to kill this. Oh, that's pretty nice. I don't think it, I don't think it lets us cast anything other than Thran Dynamo, though. We only have one. We don't have... We can't cast these. We don't have a blue. We don't have a blue, a second white, or a... This thing. So we're just going to cast Thran Dynamo. One, two, three, four, five, six. We have eight mana and nothing to do with it. What do you got here? Jitsei. No creatures. Well, this is rough. We're doing it. It's okay. We're doing it. We got this. We got this under control. Turns out I should have killed the Mox because that turns off their Bitter Blossom. That's a yikes for me, dog. Which of your artifacts will I steal? Yeah, that's fine. Whatever, man. Nobody even cares. Give me a land so I can play Bloodbird Elf equipped with Jitte. That's all I want. Dang it, double white card. I think we're just dead here. We're going to take five next turn, plus they have a Dak Faden. Yeah, we're just going to concede. I feel like they could have taken Jitte with Fairy Rogues dot deck over here but I think our deck's actually fine we have a ton of removal I think our, our mana just got a little borked there even though we had two moxes eh, two moxes in our mana getting it's, it's rough it's a rough life everything seems good it seems like they're just playing creature things and planeswalker things This is not exciting, but I think it's okay. Our distribution of colors is good. We can cast things like Bloodbird Elf. We have three mana. We have two removal spells, one of which we only need another white for. No, what? Is Hunter dreaming? Yeah, you can hear that? Yeah, he's dreaming. This is him dreaming right now. He's 
He's having a good time. Sometimes you gotta chase some squirrels, you know? Dreaming of biting male person's legs, I bet. He doesn't bite anything. He's so friendly. He's like the most well-mannered dog I've ever seen. He's such a gentleman. Man, I love that guy. Plague Crafter. You gonna duress me? You didn't do anything with your Chrome Mox. I feel like there's no reason to play these ASAP when you have them. People let me tell you about my best friend. He bites his tail. He doesn't tr He doesn't bite his tail. He tries to bite his tail. Oh, look at that. You got me. You got me. You old, you old sassy biscuit, you. You old sassy biscuit. And here we were thinking opponents didn't have it. We did. We underestimated old Dingus Khan. I blame myself. They don't know what to get, though. People. Oh, there it is. There it is. I'll get my... Wait, you didn't even get a land? You're just like, I'll get a Bitter Blossom. I'm good with it. Okay, can't do this. We don't have a second white right now. So I guess we're just leading with Lava Claw Reaches and passing. And Alesh Norton should clean this fat mess up at some point. Well, that's nice. As a blue-white deck, your options to destroy this seem limited. Wow, that's pretty good. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Aleshnorn. So we want to keep up this for swords. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Tempted just oblivion ring this now. Is that worth it? Maybe. It's actually fine here. Oh, that seems decent. One, two. Actually, I guess we don't need to have that mox, do we? One, two, three, four. Blood braid. What do we hit? Ashiok. That's pretty good. Bloodbraid into Ashiok, man. That's the world I want to live in, dude. Okay, that'll do, I guess. Oh, Leshnorn into Bloodbraid into Ashiok, huh? Seems good. Bloodbraid only swings for five, but still pretty good. Mesmeric Fiend seems decent. What are we going to bring in? What are we going to take out? We're going to take something out? I don't think so. Yeah, I think we're fine. Oh, wake. Wow, you guys are right. I forgot about that. I was like, Alessia Norn's only plus two, plus two. 
But Marari's wake. This hand seems rough. We need a green and a black and another more things. Can we do better? Do we need to do better? Probably. This isn't better, but I'm going to keep it because I don't want to go to five here. Plus, we do have... Uh, we're one man away from this and two white away from this, which I think is fine. We have time. That's nice. So we need a green. We can get a temple garden here, which is great. That's actually really good. Eh, I don't care. Nobody cares about that. We'll get Temple Garden, and then we can... If we hit a land next turn, we can get... We can Blood Braid or Hero of Blade Hold, depending on the land. People, let me tell you about my Hero of Blade Hold. What's this going to be? What's this? Is it Dak Faden? Basalt Monolith. All right. I really want to hit a land that's I want to hit any land here I think Bloodbird Elf is going to it's pretty close to being able to kill the Basalt Monolith come on 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 don't do me like that we're still going to kill it though so it's basically like doing Bloodbird Elf into 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 Maelstrom Pulse I guess Still one color away from three cards in our hand, which is all right. They did nothing. We did nothing. We have nine sources of white in the deck, so I feel like we shouldn't be getting this ridiculously boned on white mana, but we're also getting boned on lands in general, so, you know. We've had three land sources and out of 11 cards. With all the singing you don't stream, I can't help but think you were in a quartet. Were you in a band? I was never in a band. I was never in a quartet. That is a doomy boy. That is one doomed boy. Well, I guess we're gonna be I guess we're gonna be whispering that my that that my dude. I would have liked to land here so we could chupacabra, but again, lands are not our forte, guys. I'd come to your shows from Italy. That's gas, dude. How about I would just do shows in Italy because then I get to be in Italy. Is that, that seems better, right? Do you even choir, bro? Italy is also known as the land of mozzarella. That's what I've heard. I've actually heard that before. It's like a never ending step. Can't play lands unless in your opening seven. Yeah. The only lands you draw are the ones you get in your opening hand. Get this idiot out of here. Do -do -do -do. And they're like, oh, wait, that changes things. Let me keep Let me surveil a little more. Go to Italy, record legacy video. Oh man, me and Andrea Mangucci, that'd be gas. Andrea is great. I want to barf in my mouth. Look, a land. Wow. Fashionable late to the party, land. Yeah, Jake, me and you, let's hit up Italy. I'm game.
Well, this is how we die, guys. We missed a, 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 sh a, sh a shit ton of land drops. Oh, all my landy boys, where have you been? He broke the step, he drew a land. It's unbelievable. This guy basically robbed. I mean, we still, we still, we still lost one, two. Whenever we lose one, two, I'm always like, eh, that's fine. Because you only lost one game. Like, you, you lost one game less than your opponent. Big deal. I would say alternative, they like do they like do nothing, and then we can come back here at some point. But oh wow, sorting this guy, attacking for five, and getting your Doom Whisperer back. Who's my favorite vocalist? I'm a big fan of. Um, I'm a big fan of Matt Berninger of of. Um, yeah, that's gonna be the end. We can't cast hammer spells. Uh, of the national. I think both lyrically and vocally, uh, he is extremely talented. You're wrong. It's still Monk HP. Wow. Cyborg Huey, thank you so much for the reset, buddy. Really appreciate it. Welcome back. I should be studying, but instead I'm going to take a nap. If you could create a white noise, that would be great. Um... I will play first. Yeah, I don't hate this hand. It's a little slow. Female vocalist? If I had to say female vocalist... Off the top of my head, I think Lauren Mayberry of Churches. I think her voice is so good. I'm also a really big fan of Stevie Nicks. So I think I would say Stevie Nicks or Lauren Mar Lauren Mayberry off the top of my head. Those would be my guesses. Your mom. That's, yeah. My mom. Unfortunately, the, 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 the update did not fix the Frank Lepore will have no mana bug. That is true. It is unfortunate, but true. One second. Uh... So we want a second white. We also want a blue. Hollowed fountain seems like the pick, but it's really narrow. The development team is aware of the issue and monitoring the situation to determine how to best address the bug. Chris Cornell is also fantastic. Sphinx of the Steelwind. Well, Fudge McMudge. How do we proceed from here? Oh, you're just gonna Rashad and port me? That's some rude. That's some rude shit, man. I'll tap your godless shrine. Oh, good. We don't have to get the Holland Fountain anymore. Fantastic. Everything's coming up, Millhouse. Fudge McMudge is the dude from the Killers. Yeah. That's he's he's Irish. Oh, it's old Fudge McMudge. You can't tell from his voice though. He hides it really well. He hides his, his Irish heritage. More like Rude Schadenport. It is more like that. Well, I have no reason to tap these to, to, to crack this strand yet because we don't know what to get. I think our only option now is like Underground Sea. Underground Sea. Now we're sharing the same dream. Um, Do we have anything we can play this turn? Still no. 
So next turn, we can play Hero of Bladehold. That's pretty cool. Whale oil beef fucked. <laughs> it's funny because it's not cursing, but it sounds like cursing. That's really weird. It's such a weird, like... Watch the, like, I'll tap your goblet shrine. Oh, Arachno Signet. That's cute. Look at that. Isn't that cute? Where's Rob and why does it feel like he left us? Oh, my, Rob's actually going to be here tomorrow. Hopefully you guys are excited about that. Rob is going to be joining the stream tomorrow. You're going to tap my land down. Okay. I mean, whatever, dude. I'm not going to tap any response. I ain't got no tricks. I hope you necromancy the Sphinx so I can just go judgment. Face my judgment. Tinker. Well, biscuits. If it's not if it's not mere battle sphere or oh, it's actually yeah, that's fine. Ain't nobody got time for this idiot. Now I will crack this because oh, underground sea. Yeah, that's better. Now we're sharing. Can we just tuck it? Let's just tuck it with Tef. Oh, that's goodness. But then they get to kill it with it. No, they don't have a black source. Tucking it with Tef. Let's tuck it with Tefy. And then we die if they have days. They ain't got no days. <gasps> See you later. Has Rob shaved that fugly thing he calls a... F wow, that's aggressive, man. I like they sacked the Rakdos Signet, which they would be able to kill our Teferi with. <laughs> Did I say Tezzeret this time? I'm pretty sure I said Teferi, and I feel good about it. You got it. You got it. Draw a card. Play a tomb. Kill your JC boy. Oh, JC boy, go to the garbage can. I'll see you around the garbage can. Hmm. Leshnor and, and Teferi, huh? Well, see you later. Tinker, huh? Well, that's cute. I hope the white deck with five cards in their hand can't deal with my tinker. <laughs> JC boy, go to the garbage can, the musical. <laughs> oh, Nick, Nick, I love when you're hanging out, man. You are a good, you are a good time, buddy. Also, for those in the chat who don't know, Monk HB is uh, Hat Mike, who was on the stream a long time ago. If you if you remember, Hat Mike had such hits as him and I tried to draw ten cards off of Garrick primal hunter with with a leovold in play with our opponent had leovold so we had an an ulamog and we went to draw cards and we're like all right let's draw some cards see what we get first and then no cards entered our hand and then we realized they had leovold and that was a that was a real that was a real it was a moment let's put it that way what is your quest what is your favorite color what if I don't want to take anything out? What then? What if I just want to submit like this? You can take the Jitte out. Favorite band without a singer? I would actually probably say off the top of my head. These are all... Well, I'm going to use the term band loosely, but I would probably say Miles Davis. If you want to... I don't know any like band bands. Like if As soon as you're instrumental, it's like... I would also say, I would also say Kavinsky because Kavinsky is one of my favorite like uh, Mox Jet probably grab. We want a red source. I think our only red source to search for is Taiga. 
So we can get a Taiga and like... Do we have a way to get a blue? Taiga Hollowed Fountain is actually pretty good. Yeah, let's do that. Ta -ta -ta Taiga. Let's see what you got. Let's take a gander at your hander. Treachery and Ravages of War? Strip mine too, huh? That's aggressive. I'm just gonna take the Ravages of War here. That's a, that's a dirty ass card. Mm, that's a dirty ass card. You're gonna strip mine my taiga? Oh my god. Oh my oh my god. Well now we don't have a red source. God, I feel so dumb. Man, our Bloodbird Elf is so far behind now. What are we getting with this? Uh, Hollowed Fountain? Hollowed Fountain's still good. We do need a red source, though. Wow, look at you. What are you doing, man? So you played an island. You played a strip mine. So you know island, island, treachery. I just want to shuffle. It's weird. It's a weird feeling, but sometimes... I don't know. I can't explain it. There's no logical way I can explain that. Fascinating. Lava claw reaches. I'm tempted to beast within their Rashad and port. It blows my mind when I tell people music without singing isn't a song. The root word is literally right there. But I guess that makes me a pretentious butthole. Yeah, Spencer, the one thing I've always thought about you whenever we hung out, I was like, wow, this dude is extremely pretentious. That's the that's the that's the impression I've always gotten from you. I've never said to myself, wow, this dude is super talented and really humble. It was always like, wow, what a pretentious butthole. I don't even know what our red mana options are at this point. I'm going to check. We have Gruul Signet and Lava Claw Reaches, basically. So we're going to have to... This guy's probably gone. Lava Claw Reaches is good, though, because it turns on Hero's Downfall and Bloodbraid Elf. So that's okay. Duress. Wow. I feel like, again, this game is really in our control if we hit our lands, but here we are. Okay, you know what? Listen. Listen, buddy. Alright, that'll that'll do, pig. That'll do. Do we got a 41 here? We're definitely going back down to 40 if we did. I don't think we did though. Yeah, okay, so. Wow, what a what a what an absolute monster of of a player. What an absolute monster. Ceremonious, you are a maniac. So you're more like Ceremaniac, am I right?
take out Hero's Downfall. Actually, we don't have to take out anything, I guess. Jitte does seem good. I don't know, man. I think we're fine. Whatever. Whatever, man. God. Strip mine is such a busted magic card. Oh, they went to six? They did. They can't win. Got them. There's so many lands being missed. Why not Armageddon? Yeah, basically, then it makes it evens the playing field. Oh my god. Why are you the way that you are? So I guess we get underground. We really need white sources, though. I don't want... We need a black source and a white source. I guess we can get Scrubland, right? Yeah, let's get a Scrubby boy. Oh, we're doing it. Do you daze here? What do you got? Tinker? Rakdos Signet? And Remand? This Burning of Zinni is pretty rough. I think we just take the Signet. Well, next turn you're going to be able to Remand something if you want. I mean, I'd rather you have... Yeah, I'll take Rakdos Signet. So we, what did you play? You played Mountain, so you know, Remand. Let's play the land destruction game. You want to Remand this? I dare you. This is nice because we get to do things on our turn now. And swamp. Destroy the child. Seems good. I would have per personally preferred a land here. But it is turn five, so I can understand why we didn't hit a fifth land. I get it. I don't approve of it, but I get it. I've accidentally joined a competitive war league, spent 40 minutes waiting for an opponent three nights with one successful pairing. Yikes. The competitive... Oh, buttery biscuits. People, let me tell you about my burning of zin. Now we're getting close to this burning, but oh, that's nice. Oh my God, we can't cast anything. Ace is ridiculous. Our hand is such gas, dude. However, seven turn seven, we've hit four lands. Seems good. Can you imagine if we were able to go, like, Vraska into Lyra into Elspeth? That would be fantastic. 
It's turn seven, so I even accept the fact that we've got one of our lands killed. Yeah, I don't know if I want to give them back the Rakdos Signet when they have Tinker in hand. All right, well, <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> oh, Lord. You just get Ancient Tomb? Crying out loud, man. Having the most broken deck, but get land screw both games. It's so brutal, man. It's so brutal. It's the my least fun part about Magic the Gathering. And I love... I think Magic... It's, it, the fact that Magic the Gathering is the best game ever created. Despite that fact. Uh, so if we get Ancient Tomb, what can we play? We can play Vraska. Can't play Double White. Can't play Double Black. Can't play Ashiok. So we're basically just playing Vraska, which I don't think is great. I think it's probably Hollowed Fountain, because Hollowed Fountain gives us lots of options. Underground Sea is good, too. We have two double white cards. I'd rather just go all in on. Also, these guys survive pretty well against a burning, so... Ashiok. Man, I don't even care about no Ashiok. Boy, I don't even care about no Ashiok. Faithless looting. We really want to hit a land so we can Lyra. If we can Lyra, I think we're in good shape because it survives burning and then we're just pretty far ahead. What match is this? This is match three, game three. So, oh, what up, Efka? Good seeing you, my man. Ashy Larry. Never, never change, my man. Never change. Oh, did they not hit a land? That's fascinating. But we did. Oh, my goodness gracious. Eh, let's get a... We're going to get just a forest because Temple Garden actually doesn't help us cast anything. And it does keep our options more open if we hit, like, Flooded Strand, for example. Oh, uh, yeah, let's just play Lyra. Thank you. Lyra seems good. Josh, thank you so much for the reset, buddy. Welcome back. What up, Chris? I have no idea why I say it like that, but I, I always will now, I think. So this is nice. Hopefully they don't have blue land treachery. But I guess we have beast within and uh Okay. Rashad and Port is not treachery. Okay. Mox. It would feel weird if you said it. Yeah, that's the thing now. Okay, discard a mountain. Are they burning here? This is aggressive if they are burning here. What up, Anomic? <laughs> oh, they're treachering and then burning. That seems good. That's probably dead. <sighs> they discarded the burning. Oh, fantastic. Oh, they discarded burning and wildfire. Oh, that's great news. That's great news. This is, this is just wonderful. Well, this is problematic now that we don't have one of our key components to getting rid of it. They have no cards in hand, though, so this is all right. This is okay. Thank you. Okay, we just got to find something. To, we got two turns. We got two turns to do the thing. Okay. It's going to be a Thran Dynamo. You ready? Ready for the Thran Dynamo? Really? Well, that's good for us. Okay. Okay, we did it. Okay. 
People, let me tell you about my best friend. Why are you indestructible? Explain it to me. Yep, yeah, that's pretty good. This is worse when we don't have Council's Judgment or the other one in hand. Rathy, thank you so much for the seven months in a row. Really appreciate it. Welcome back. Well, or seven months total. Doesn't matter. Same thing. Gain a life, draw a card. Target non impermanent and short range three or less. Nope. Hero's downfall. We can kill this, but I'd rather just beast within and get it back. <sighs> Some, somewhere in the world, a dog is howling. I guess we can act. No, we can't, Elspeth, because they tapped our land. All right. Well. Fudge McMudge. What do we need? We need Council's Judgment or Oblivion Ring. I think we have one draw to do it. We can Chupacabra kill this block here, take five. I think that's fine. They have no cards. We go to nine Poisanos. Oh, or Swords to Plowshares. Yeah, I guess we have those two answers. And Teferi. Yeah, I guess we have a bunch of answers. Yeah. All right, so we have a few outs. And they have one card to draw. All right, well, I think we've lost, but... Well, I'll block here. Here we go. I mean, you could just beast within the blight stick. Oh, wait. Well, you could just Heroes Downfall the blight stick. Oh, yeah. Come on. I know of at least three outs, right? Uh, Oblivion Ring, Teferi, Swords to Plowshares. Those are our three outs that I can think of. Yep, okay. Come on. Council's Judgment, we wouldn't be able to cast. We wouldn't have double white. Yep, that'll do. All right. And that's the end. Yep, Blightsteel requires a pretty specific answer. Unfortunately, 1-2. I did not expect this deck to go 1-2, but we definitely had mana issues outside of color requirements, but more so just not drawing the lands. So that kind of sucks. And Council's Judgment's right there. We're still, like if they're tapping down a white every turn. Anguished on making. Hmm. That wouldn't have done it, though, because we'd anguished on making this guy go to 4 and then Lyra kills us. So... Literally two answers, though. Still still kind of funny that's two answers. Thank you guys for watching. Really appreciate it. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. Check me out at manatraders.com, where you can get 20% off the first three months of any subscription service. Link and promo code are in the description. You can also check out manatraders.com, or meundies.com, slash Frank Lepore, where you'll get 15% off, along with free shipping and free returns. So um, check those out. Definitely go to coolstuffinc.com, and I wrote an article just the other day about Modern Horizons and cube additions to Modern Horizons and uh definitely leave a comment on the article let me know what you think let me know your thoughts and uh, you can use promo code frank5 to get five percent off thank you guys for watching i'll see you guys next time